The views and opinions of this video and comments on this channel do not necessarily reflect or represent the views and opinions of this channel's broadcaster. If you have a complaint about something or find that content is being used incorrectly, don't fucking contact us. Don't fucking contact us. Just shut the fuck up. Yeah, damn. Just shut the fuck up. This is motherfucking Balaclava Diaries. We're toxic, we're talking aggressive. If you don't like it, send a message. We're weed stimulated, educated, top rated, and never baited. I am the OG Mac G. To my far left, Mr. Let's Party. You already done know. The you? man of many trades, yo. This guy does everything, yo. Still, yo, everything, everything. You know, we have a, a special guy with us, you know. Just to kind of go over, you know, his accolades. He's just, you know, one of the freshest rappers out right now. Um, one of the founders of Vampire's Prom, you know. Um, and now he has a new single coming out on, you know, a project behind that. So, I, that's crazy because in this generation, you usually don't see a lot of, you know, works of art. It's just a lot of singles. But, yo, to break it down, this guy's, he's just a champion at life. You know what I'm saying? He's, he's well achieved in, you know, that battle. And we just got to bring it up and... Let everybody know that we're dealing with one of the biggest dogs in the city right now for the younger generation, Mr. Lofsky. Let's go. Yeah, you know, Jeez. Mr. Lofsky's in the building. Come on. We want to just start off with, like, you know, how you grew up, you know what I'm saying? Like, sure. sure. You came. The past, man. Mm -hmm. Like, you said you come from music, so it's yep. like, you know what I'm saying? What, explain that to us. How was it growing up in the house of a, a jazz musician? You know? Amazing. Yeah, my dad's like literally my uh, my biggest inspiration by far to this day. He's yeah. about to have his 70th birthday on May yeah. 10th. Shout out and to like, Pops. Yeah, man. Like there was always so much music in the house. So he like I grew up just going to his gigs, being familiar with that, meeting all his people, everyone, yeah. that uh, his mentors I, I got to meet, the Ed Bickard that's no longer with us. Uh, right. You know, my mother, like, you know, she's a poet, but uh, she played piano in the house. So, like, I grew up playing piano very young. Shit. There was always so much music around. That's but, like, crazy. he didn't just keep me limited to, to jazz or anything. Like, the right. first kind of stuff I was really into was, like, My Chemical Romance. And, okay, uh, I remember them back then. Yeah, some 41. <laughs> like, it's, it's like, like emo alternative, alternative right, right. 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 Yeah. Punk, the, the punk, punk of, of the, the generation. generation. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Early, I found rap too. Uh, but right before that, like he he exposed me a lot to like Zeppelin, um, Pink Floyd, The Beatles, Cream, like all kinds of different music. So, That's crazy. Yeah, it was awesome. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. So, like coming up, like you're obviously into rap right now. Like, where did that? Where did that yo, get your first? Like, how did I get started? Who's yeah, the first yeah, person? Yeah. Like, you know, was that first track that said, "Yo." Lofsky, come here. Come, <laughs> the uh, come into the Kanye, rap. Yeah, Con Kanye. Yeah. Definitely, definitely a lot of Kanye. Big for sure. Okay. okay. Dead wrong to this day. Like anytime that. Shit. Dead wrong yeah. remix. Dead wrong yeah. remix. Let's get it. Yeah, let's yeah. get it real with Eminem. That was crazy. It's yeah, crazy. It went insane. I yeah, mean, like yeah. more money, more problems. Like just so many. Like Big L too. I was exposed. Yeah. My neighbor was putting me onto a lot of stuff. So like okay. I, had, I. Had, always had like older people around me so like very early got into like jedi mind tricks i got okay. into um army of the pharaohs all okay. kinds of stuff so like when i was super young i, I used to they used to try to chirp me in elementary school because i'd show up with the walkman but i had the cds on i was listening to like okay. <laughs> a lot of y'all don't know what those a lot of y'all don't know what those every yeah. man had that whether it was an yeah. iphone the fucking exactly. walkman or whatever yeah. Yeah. Before, yeah. before i had the shuffle yeah. i had the walkman yeah. 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 clipped into your pants yeah. 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 clipped onto your, your pants, pants. So, yeah <laughs> hip hop was always like it was always something that, that I loved funny. and appreciated, like off rip before I understood anything about it. But I never thought that I would make mute. Like I didn't think that I would rap. I wanted to, but I'm like, okay. that's not for me, right? Right, right, right. Yeah. Why not? What was like? Um, because like we wanted to kind of get into it. Like you know, what are the battles that you would say happens as a, a white rapper in you know kind of? Oh, like shout out, shout yeah. out to the white you know, chocolate, white yeah. like white you know, chocolate, what's the struggles you know as a white chocolate saying? trying oh, to be in the hip hop game? So, you know, you know like, like, like how does that trans? How does that feel to just be a part of that culture? And and what is it like? Are you just genuinely yourself, or did you find like somebody that you emulated and kind of? 
mm. melted into that part yeah. of that person? Like, what was your, your I'm motivation? 100%, I'm 100% myself. And I feel like that's just part of like just growing up and being right. an adult and being able to separate yourself from like how you come across and like whatever your right. persona or any, any kind yeah. of thing. Right. Right. You right. got to know who you are as a human being. That took a lot of time. But um, in terms of like, yeah, you know, like when I was younger, I really like my first dream was being like a skateboarder. Okay, and, Tony uh, Hawk. Yeah, but it, upon, like, like, Hawk. it became super clear. It's like, yo, that's just not gonna happen because like you can't just be shit and then like and then get you know sponsored and all that stuff. So, so I knew can you do an ollie at least? Of course, yeah, I can ollie, pop, shove. I can do some grinds and different okay, things. Okay, okay, can you do a dark slide or say, no? I cannot do a dark slide. Okay, okay. Say, so you're saying you're like, I can do a guy, you're a guy. I can do a couple things. When I was little, I like you know like at least for me like all my friends you know like. Like we just throw ourselves down stair sets and like i wasn't you know what? i was younger so i wasn't worried about like the consequences like okay whatever like i'll throw myself down like a six set or some Holy, like that's steep shit that like i maybe is a little bit beyond me that i i can't do that's but wild. now it's like you that's know, wild. that always, i always kind of had that, that okay that, that thrill right. seeking you know when you say throw yourself down a set like yeah, are yeah, we yeah. actually talking about like Ah, <laughs> like, are we like yo the skateboard? You know, like, like would, explain would, to this. I like I would all like all these sets or like nose grab or like try to do like an indie. I I never was like crazy. Okay. Good. I couldn't like you'd never see me doing a flip trick, unfortunately, down a set or like <laughs> grinds and stuff like that. It would mostly be boxes because rails would scare me a lot. But you know, I would try some stuff. I've always done we have to clarify, you know, yeah. to clarify for the people for out sure. there because viral meme by um Super K fourteen big up Super K. I'm like yo, he just said like white people have fun. Black people be shooting each other in the street, yo. <laughs> yo, but nah, did you hear what the man said? The man said, yo, I'm trying to throw myself down as some sand. That, doesn't sound, that doesn't, sound like, doesn't sound like, doesn't sound safe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, doesn't sound safe, you know? scared to have fun, fam. This is the two different opinions right here. <laughs> I was so influenced by like, like jackass growing up, right? So my okay, buddy, Johnny like, Knoxville. Like, yeah, so like, guys, yeah. When I was little, we'd have drugs. like a sled at the top of my stair set and like we like go down the stair set <laughs> I like as fast as we could or whatever like you know snow skating all this shit like I fell down the stairs like super super young too so like I think that that was kind of always there I, I luckily <laughs> okay. thank god I don't, I don't have the, the CTE you're not in the AB yet you're not in the AB life no, yet not no, in the AB no, life no, no, I didn't no, no. I didn't. I wasn't good at football so uh, okay. I dodged yeah, that yeah. one <laughs> yeah what you trying to say yo I only have one concussion in my life, so one concussion. <laughs> you, yeah, you killed it, bro. If you stick with it too long, I feel like, you know, it's dangerous, right? But yeah, yeah, shout yeah, out yeah, football. Yeah. I love watching football. Yeah. Do I want to, like, play football at a competitive level? Nah, not, not really. Wrong, so. yeah. Let's get right into it. Your top five white rappers, yo. Top five white rappers? Uh, <laughs> that's crazy. Vanilla Ice. <laughs> Vanilla Ice. No, I don't really listen to white rappers like that. Uh, like, nah, bro, no. but you got to name your top five, five, bro. Okay, Mac Miller. Okay, okay. 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 Suicide Boys. Okay. Best. 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 Um, best. I have no clue who that is. To be they're amazing, bro. They're, yeah, from New they're Orleans. Sick. Sick. Uh, fuck, who else is good? Yeah, definitely. Come on, think Forgetting about the biggest one of all time. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like, he's Eminem not an influence. There? Like, he's he, not influence. I, I, I got I to gotta put him up there just because, like, you know, he's that he guy. did pave the way and he was incredible. Like, right, am, am right. I into his new stuff? Not personally, but like. Who is, though? Who really? Right? Yeah. Yeah, no, me just shout out to him, of course. Like, the diehards uh, probably, but like, you know? Fuck, who else would I, would I add up there? What about Vanilla Ice? Definitely not Vanilla Ice. <laughs> Yo, shout out Riff Raff. Riff Raff, Riff Raff okay. Riff Raff's a guy. I'll put, I'll put Riff Raff and then I'll put Action Bronson. Okay, okay, oh, okay. I feel yeah, like yeah, Action yeah. Bronson too died down, but he had his wave. Like, he yeah, he going, definitely had a one run. He had a one run. He had and a he's a sick cook. Like, I cannot cook, so I, I respect yeah, him. Yeah, he's definitely big on the chefing thing. Yeah. He's got, I remember he's back in the day, he's on Vice all the time. He's got a crazy personality. Him and Big Body Bez too. They're just so funny. I could listen to them all day. So, shout out Action Bronson. We're going to get into, like, you know, how you went through some trials and tribulations later, but mm. Noriega was quoted to say um, that Eminem was better when he was on the, on the drugs. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, there's some, like, you know, I've, I've done a little research. I've talked to a couple of people. No one was really in, within this circle, just people that are, you know, in the Toronto scene and stuff. And 
some a lot of people like have good things to say about you you know what i'm saying and that's that's a testament to you know hard work you know i appreciate saying? that last he's a good guy but you know? it's been it's been a while you know this was not uh an overnight thing i've been recording 12 years right and uh i don't try to hide that i know some people you know that we try to rebrand right, or whatever right, oh right. i'm a new art. no i am so, i am not a new artist so with <laughs> this new project right um what are the fans gonna experience? You know what I'm saying? Like, what is this experience? What was it to make this this album? What are you trying to give the people off of this? You know, it's, it's, it's yeah. a couple yeah. questions, but it's like yeah, yeah, you know, it's a great what question. Was this experience for you, because for sure, it seems like you went through a lot mm. through this process. You know? Definitely, yeah. Um, the process has been over over a year in the making, um, and then really diving in like a deeper level because in most of my songs I touch on addiction I touch on mental health because it's just something that it's just a part of my a part of my day a part of my week a part of everything and, right. and I'm very comfortable talking about it so it's always there even on tracks that are maybe not that serious but for this project I really wanted to focus specifically more so on the bipolar stuff um, and okay. and kind of have something that, that people with bipolar two can uh, relate to and then also like without you know, because I never want to come across as preaching, but it's just like kind of giving like a bit of context. Like this is my experience. Everyone's going to have their own experience. But for people maybe trying to understand their bipolar friends or whatever, like this they, is one person. They're now called bipolar manic de- depressive. <laughs> right. Yeah. So it's I'm just like, it's, 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 it's all, done a lot more research on it right yeah. now. You know what I mean? And so it's, like, it's definitely something. There's a lot of people that I feel like West Indian people deal with that right away because your mom could be cussing you, cussing you, cussing you. Pick up the phone and be like, hello. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, I put on the voice happened. one time. You're like, yo, how did she do it? You're like sitting here, like, how is she able to do that? Like, yeah. she hangs the phone back up. She's back. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. back to the beating, like, <laughs> nothing ever know. happened. You but, um, know, yeah, so. the experience, what, like, what, so for Inside the Norm, it's accompanied with a short film, um, a very personal, like, kind of mini documentary. So, when, if you come to my release party, which you're gonna do if you're watching this, you're gonna attend my release party. I'm manifesting that right now. Okay. May my. 23rd, Bar Cathedral. I'm on 10 o'clock sharp, okay. 54 Esplanade. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be crazy. Uh, yeah. We're gonna debut the short film, then boom, I'm on stage for 15 minutes. I'm gonna be performing with my pops as well. He's on the oh, single shit. that I just okay. yeah. on Big Myth is seven. Oh, what does your pops, pops play? play? Guitar. Guitar? guitar, yeah. Lauren Lofsky is jazz guitarist. He's been playing for like 50 years. So yeah, he's gonna be soloing uh, and doing his thing. And uh, yeah, man, it's gonna be an incredible. Yeah, this guy passed the ball like LeBron. Like, that's you crazy. Know what I'm no, that's nuts, man. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so if someone's never heard your music, what is something that you're trying to give them, or someone they can expect to hear from you? Because I know you talked on your mental health. So mm-hmm. like. How is that something that's gonna be? If someone's never heard your music, how yeah. is that something that's they're gonna be able to experience? Uh, I mean, yeah, the lyrics like there's always a lot of that, especially specifically in this project. There's a ton of that direct content, um, lots of melodies. You know, I'm I'm very melodic. I consider myself like a new gen alternative artist. So okay. I've got a bit of, like a lot of that new school sound, but I listen to everything, um, and I, I certainly don't try to sound like anybody else. But I definitely get compared to a lot of that like new underground sound. And a lot of the people that I work with and what I listen to is kind of of that variety. So that's what you'd expect to hear from me. Yeah. So, but there's a big variety in terms of like this kind of subgenres on the project. So I watched your, your short film. Big ups to the fucking short film. That mm-hmm. shit was... Yeah, shit. Right. Oh, yeah. And that right. shit was alive, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. You put that together well. Nice little three minute, whatever. Mm-hmm. Shout that out on YouTube. Where is that on YouTube? It's not out yet. That that wasn't even oh, the final draft. Yeah. That's not even yeah, the draft. It's just, it's, one preview. Uh, it's just getting a... Sneak preview. Yeah, you guys okay. got the sneak this preview. Guy's, he's doing so the marketing. It's he's using us to do his marketing. <laughs> like, man, just out here trying to get a one... Like, oh, I'm gonna oh, tell my yeah. story and yeah, marketing. Was, the most mind fuck marketing I ever went through. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Um, yeah, that's gonna be you know like so that's gonna be displayed the night of the release party and May, then I'll what, be what putting it out on all platforms again? May twenty third and then it'll be on all platforms the following week. So, so yeah. yeah, crazy process. Like you talk about going from you know doing drugs to. Mm-hmm. Um, doing music without the drugs and now there's people that say like they like the music with the drugs more than they do the music without the drugs right. you know what i'm saying like, like I, I, I think it's all can. fucking good music you make good music yeah. you have a little bit of this you have a little bit of that you know yeah. cha 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 you know is there, do you feel so. like there's a change from the drugs to not the drugs and how you did your yeah. production and your whole experience 
I mean, like, I got, for me personally, I just got so much better. Like, I can't listen to my music that I was making when I was on drugs back in the day. You <laughs> no know? way. Like, why? I just, I, cause it's I, too dark. It's, well, not even. It just, uh, I just wasn't as good. Like, and I think okay. when, when you're an yeah. artist, like, I'm my biggest critic, right? Yeah, so I like, yeah, yeah. you know, I like the new stuff. I'm excited about what's what's coming and the unreleased stuff that's not, not coming yet. Um, so, yeah, man. Like, I, I, for me personally, like, I... As a consumer, I enjoy from kind of 2021 on, but I have people that like stuff that maybe, you know, I was struggling. Like, I still have people that ask me about stuff that I was making when I was like deep in addiction, like 2012 or yeah, something. Wow. Yeah, yeah, like crazy. 2014, what whatever. So it's like, Eddie yeah. Brown talked about that too, you know. He's just like, yeah. he's just like, the music had to switch up and niggas yeah. got mad, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so he's again. sober now. Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah. He's yeah. Sober. He's super sober now. now. So, yeah, you man. Do you feel like you're like, you know, you touched on your friends, like talking to you about that stuff. Like, what do you tell them to like keep them on track with what you're doing right now and like what your change is? Um, yeah, I mean, most people in my life just know, like, I mean, I've been I've been in sobriety for almost eight years now. So pretty much everybody around me is just like super chill, very supportive. Everyone like no one cares. Like That was like the biggest thing that I had to realize. And I think most people, if they're if they're, you know, experimenting with different periods of sobriety, it's like, you know, it doesn't matter. Like Wayne said it a long time ago, like, oh, it doesn't matter what was in my cup then or it was yeah, in my cup yeah, now, whatever. Yeah. It's like, you know, like. Who, who cares if, I, if I'm sipping cognac or I'm sipping water or whatever I'm sipping? It's like if we're, you know, we're vibing as people or, or we're not. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. I it's all about vibes. Thing. You don't have to, you definitely don't have to be under the influence of something yeah. to have a great time. Like you can just be living life off the energy, off the mm. vibe straight. Yo, it's even crazier. Like on another note, it's like there's these TikToks right now about people like just bashing celebrities, period. You know mm. what I mean? It's like uh-huh. they're always on some negative shit. 100%. You know 100%. So it's just like, I don't know if you heard about J-Lo, but J-Lo's been getting thrown under the the, the, the rug just as much oh, as yeah? Diddy just now. No off way. Just one tip. Yeah. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't know about that. <laughs> yeah, yo. There's this, yo, that's that's yo, yo, there's this girl out. right now. <laughs> I think it was like Kyla bro. Mercer or Kyla Marie. No, no, no. Yeah, well, yeah, okay. Britta. Yeah, yeah. She's exposing J-Lo, talking about Jeez. how she's a slime ball, how she's <laughs> killing, getting people dead, dead off, Ooh. how she's stealing tracks. Damn. And yo, that's one crazy. day... A couple weeks ago, she just ended up missing, fam. Body what? Dead. <laughs> wow. Oh, shit. Cartel. And people are saying that, oh, you know, Jado's a big dog. You move like Queen of the South out here. Cartel. Yeah, hey. Allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. You know what I mean? Alleged. Allegedly. M- music industry is crazy, allegedly. I, yeah, I, I, I don't know. Allegedly. I don't know. I don't know. A lot of that shit. He got caught on camera. No, he never tries to talk about it on Jake Chaps, but he was on camera shooting outside Hot 97. Like, on camera. Him and Junior Mafia. Banging. Allegedly. Is that what we're opening? Up, we're opening the conspiracy <laughs> theories right now. Is we're no around the legendary <laughs> talks, not conspiracy, it's just allegedly <laughs> talks. You can so call it what you want. So, you know, there's the what's the which we call it? There's a hierarchy, and you know, there's the 12 families, there's mm-hmm. the like fucking council of 300, and they say celebrities are like the bottom of that chain to kind mm-hmm. of show us how to want to be in all things. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, it takes us out of who we are. Um, like, celebrities are like superstars to people idols so on Mm. and so forth right so it's like do you ever buy into that mess or do you you know ever look into that like type of situation like what if this was me and what happens um do you go through a little bit of the hate already you know what i'm saying yeah i mean there's always going to be people that like are supporting and not supporting and like that's all cool in terms of like celebrities i mean like we're all just people right so um i really appreciate like i've met a lot of pretty big people that are incredibly humble and then you kind of meet other people that might be like a little too lost in the sauce or maybe they're <laughs> or maybe, you know, they're really believing their hype. They have too many yes men around them and stuff like that. I mean, it, it is a really weird drug, especially nowadays with like fame, TikTok. Man, yeah, fame. Fame. It's a weird like, drug. Like the, the average person is like, what like what do you want to be? You want to be a rapper? You want to be an influencer? You want to be an entrepreneur? You want to be an OnlyFans model? Whatever you you're like the average like young person growing up now they don't necessarily want to be like in a trade yeah they, they want to be a doctor they yeah, want to go they, to school no like, they want to be that. like an on-camera personality a celebrity yeah um so 
I feel like, yeah, it's a very like American, North American thing. It's like the dream. It's like, you know, and uh, I don't know. Some people handle it really well. Some people don't handle it really well. And some people like what you say, like they might be pushed for like a certain agenda. They might be doing weird symbols. They might be, uh, you know, all kinds of subliminal crazy shit. shit. Yeah. Saying they're eating kids, you know, allegedly. Oh, the the Bohemian Grove shit. Right. (laughs) Hey, I I, I look in the like, I love conspiracy theories. I love just like looking at different, different stuff. So like, we'll see. I don't know if they're swapping faces. Is if people are coming back, I'm not gonna name any names. Certain artists might be like 50 pushing it, 50, 60, and like, hey, if that's your lane to come back as a 20 year old, like, yo, are you hearing that they're like, you know, speaking of conspiracy, are you hearing that they're like drinking certain like uh fluids? Adrenochrome? Oh, (laughs) I I don't know, bro, but like, yo, we're getting too far now. (laughs) Hey, I will say this before we switch it if you look at the Queen of England. Just like look at her, like it's it's She's a little alarming. Dead, y'all. She's dead, yo. <laughs> Looks different, man. Look face, bro. Looks I don't know, super man. young. But yo, know, going back to our original <laughs> topic of celebrities, yo, yeah. do you feel like within society and like within our culture, do you feel like people are giving celebrities too much power? Mm. What do you? Think I mean, about that? Uh, possibly. I mean, they do have a crazy amount of influence. At the end of the day, though, I think it is a kind of a personal accountability. Like we gotta re- like I as a human, I gotta watch. Who am I taking in? What am I taking in? A lot of people are entertainment, right? So, like, I'll listen to comedians say kind of crazy stuff all day long. That doesn't mean that I'm going to, like, yeah, go take the, the physical advice of, like, someone that's, like, clearly, like, maybe not doing the best. Mm-hmm. I'll take that as entertainment and I'll, I'll run oh, with it man, and I'll enjoy sometimes it. Sometimes the guys that aren't doing the best are the ones who are telling the truth. Right. Like Dame Dash. I hate when people gum down on Dame Dash. Oh, or yeah. Yeah. Can I save Dame right now? I'm not trying to save him, but at the end of the day, fam, you have to really think what happened to Dame. Dame stayed the... Okay, if you want to get say really true, political, say true, no, say not, even true. Political, not even that. He no, didn't say, say true. true. He stayed the fucking field nigga. He stayed the nigga that was in the fucking field, cussing out the fucking master, doing whatever he wanted to do in the fucking field, and then Jay-Z decided to, decide to go in the house. And become the house nigga and then start fucking moving with Leo Cohen and all types of different shit. So if we're gonna talk about, you know, bad I mean, things happening in celebrities. No, like, I was just worrying about Jay since the nineties. So you know, you know what I'm saying? Oh, he's so like, got his business. At the end of the day, it's just business. like Dame's mad more about that right. than he is about you know, know what I'm saying? Like, he's he's never gonna stop talking about that. that. Mm-hmm. He's never gonna stop talking about it. But I feel like Dame right now, I feel like he needs to Regroup and then come back with some new shots. Like he's been saying the same. <laughs> the message is, yo, name. I see you. I see the message you're saying. What but about you know, you need for the young youths. You need to repackage it for the young youths. What so about yeah? Look different. I don't know, man. Yeah. I feel like Ye comes out of MK Ultra every like two to three years, and then they they shut him back off. I, yo, honestly, real. real I feel like Ye is a, cl- a clone right now. You know? he's, he's not, not a, clone a clone thing, bro. He's not a clone. It, he's just. I just watched that new movie, um, Civil War. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I watched bro. that the other day. Yeah, 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 yeah. You see that like the trucks are like the same stuff that him and Cardi mm-hmm. were riding around yeah, in, bro. Like, they they, they they've been pushing the Civil War theme for like five, six, seven yeah, years. Like, they keep pushing that up. They wanted to even in the what was that other that Netflix movie they were bringing up um leave the world behind yeah same yeah, thing yeah, they keep bringing that shit up so so what do you think right now about um hip-hop beef is it just a commercial thing or is it like because back in the day it used to be like let's get yeah. back to the culture and let's you know yo bar for bar and done a man so back in the day yeah, i feel like the beef was like it's from the heart right like a man yeah. like I, I slapped a man yeah. in the in the studio we scrapped it all he disrespected my dukes <laughs> something but no i just feel like it's too like i ah, think like. i think we're in the wwe era of okay oh, wow. and fake i am all for it fake i think fighting? i don't i think it's like it's sick marketing it's just like these labels and the different people they so all sit together in a room Hogan Hogan right now? Everybody's, everybody's coming, coming for exactly. exactly no, no he's, he's saying, saying and everybody else is end up he's up. he's the heel He's, he's the heel. Remember that Sting was against NWO back in the day? That's old, that's old wrestling. Yeah, I don't uh, know about those. Sting <laughs> was Hulk Hogan ran the NWO and he had Scott Hall, which is the um, former Razor Ramon. He had fucking Kevin Nash, which was fucking Diesel from WWF. And okay. he had a couple of heavy mans on his team and they used to walk through in black and put up the fucking, um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and they were going against Sting, so I think that's the, the yeah. emulation that they probably looked at. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, these guys just sit around. It just sells everybody's album. Yeah, it definitely it, sells. It, it pushes genius. every like 
everybody has benefited from people. this. Streams and if you if you really look Ross, at the, if you look at the label Rizzi, structure, Kendrick, it's all the future. same parent companies that own everything, right? Mm -hmm. And all these guys are friends, and all these guys are working together. It's the same thing with politics, like off camera, like you know Biden and Trump. They don't like they're each dapping other. each other probably up at the golf course or something. Yeah, you know, know what I mean? mean? Like these are the same group of together, people. Big split them all. Yeah, yeah, I mean? Yo, yo, all this but like the government stays the same. The 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 fake is like rappers are like politicians, right? <laughs> <laughs> the, the the face has come up for a little bit you're relevant you do your thing hopefully you make a career you transition into something else at some point and then boom there's somebody else same but the thing. agenda stays the same it's just there's different people so, that come and push you are celebrities good people some <laughs> some I, I think I, hey man like you know I, some celebrities seem super genuine I can't speak on enough people like I, I don't know some people are messed up I think there's uh, there's definitely interesting things that you can do to get ahead in your career is that necessarily <laughs> whatever is that what everybody does so I don't know trying to get you to I don't know someone right now fam like who's shaking it right now in the scene who's know? going I mean well yeah I don't think Diddy's a good person oh, I think yeah. I think Diddy's about to get Epstein let's be honest right wow. yo they're talking about some other people getting Diddy after him mm. you're talking about you know the big jig dog is getting next yo, right right I can see that yo, you know what all that's hiding though? though who Epstein just not Epstein um, Harvey Weinstein just got off his charges no way no yeah. you're really? lying they revoked them Revolt? Yeah. That's crazy. I lied. That's crazy. Game, baby. He, 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 oh, he, he, he was literally the face. Dude, I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew the noise was for something. But nah, right. the noise was for multiple things. Is, oh, it's for multiple things. Crazy. Yo, the noise was for the, the aid package that they just passed off from the States. And we just passed up. We as Canadians, the government just passed off an aid package. Right. As yeah. well, while all that noise was going on, I didn't even hear about this. That's and I'm sure there's some Jeez. silver liberty... There's gonna be like Bill C nine eight four nine six. You guys can't take a shit. <laughs> when I saw the so article so about the Harley Weinstein fam, my it's heart crazy. just broke in half, fam. That's crazy. Crazy. Like, this is what you need to end up on the, the wall, wall, fam. They need it. Yeah. Like, yeah. you need to clean. Like, like, I'm the man of money, dog. It's not the money thing, dog. No, it's the money thing. Money and power, fam. No, yo, fam. I feel like with him in this situation, it's more so, dog. You guys really want me to come up here and talk? You guys really want me to come up here and talk? Like, yeah, I feel like that's what Harvey's in the... He's like, yo, oh, I'll talk, you know. Yeah, of course I'll talk. I'll but that's snitch. A, of <laughs> course. I'll snitch. But that, that's, a, that's a thing with almost every powerful person, though. That's why they have to get... Like, I mean, I'm surprised that yo, he didn't get killed. Yo, at that, that level, level, they say information on people is the most, like, yeah, yeah, like thing for sure. Like, like man's, man's getting paid, man's bro. Man's get paid D like Diddy's 100% getting killed. He's got way too many takes. Yo, way too many Yo, like, right now, like... Right now, Diddy's like, all right, yo, you trying to hear something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom. Yo, Yo, I hear that. Pick, pick a politician. Pick, pick a, a politician. He's like, yeah, <laughs> Here's hold up, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing, though. These guys, like, set these things up these ways. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It's like, Diddy obviously protected himself. You know what I'm saying? Cameras, he was, yeah, cameras yeah, were yeah, everywhere. Yeah, 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 camera, camera footage and everything. Yeah. And then the funny thing about it is this. The plane leaves to fucking Cape Verde, mm -hmm. but... He's not on the plane. Mm. You know what's on the plane? Pure footage. <laughs> so man's can't come and get it from him. Because oh. that's why land security came. When they didn't find it, this guy's a rapist. This guy's this, that, 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 that. You just see the propaganda start. This is all probably just like a CIA operation or oh, something. For sure, you for know sure. what I mean? It's crazy. Diddy was man. like, I don't know, maybe like, I'm sure Epstein was an informant. Like, why else are you filming? Like, you know what I mean? You're covering all this <laughs> nah, stuff. No, he's like, doing it. No, I'm no, yo. Like, Diddy was doing not, it because he wanted the power. So if your man catches you in a bad situation, the man can look at you and say, yo, dog, I'm looking for a 50 mil right now. What are you saying? I mean. And a man can't <laughs> say no. You can't say no. if you yeah. he, He's going to press play. And if the video's going to play, so yo, dog, what are you saying? Look back. Yeah. You're sitting here. Your heart's thumping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. guy has me on sight. I mean, you I think it's just, some people are just sick, bro. I don't know. <laughs> That's what the industry is just, like really sick, bro. bro I don't know. When you look like, deeper and deeper, it just gets darker. Yeah, darker it's darker, not just darker. Diddy, too. It's like a lot of his sons. So it's so a level, level of fame that you would want to like achieve as like an artist. Like, as far as I can tell you that you're like, you just want to go to like the pit bull level, like where you're like, Doing casinos for fucking 150 million. No, 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 no. <laughs> Pitbull's famous, famous, bro. Yeah, Why not, he's bro. deep in the game. Yeah, I mean, I, I want to take this as absolutely far as I can take it. But in terms of like the actual fame talk, I it's not really I don't that's not how I always like perceive like where I want to get to. It's just like living off the music, 
which uh, hopefully by the end of the year even is possible because, you know, I'm, I am, like as was mentioned earlier, now I'm an entrepreneur. Life. We set That's up enough businesses life. and all this stuff. That's Just being life. on tour, living. Like, I don't have to be the richest guy in the room. I don't have to be the most famous guy in the room. But if I'm just doing what I love every day and I'm able to provide for my family and give opportunities to, for my community, friends, and hopefully, you know, doing something positive, that that to me is a lot more important than yeah, being definitely. like... Um, pitbull or drake and not to take away from them or whoever it's like like i said i'm trying to take this as far as i can take it right. but it's much more important to me to to make the art that i want to do and just to live like a good life you know that's crazy, crazy man that's crazy, crazy. yo yeah. uh, we don't need a lot we really what's don't that need a lot name um Who? immortal technique you guys know about him yeah yeah, yeah. Who yeah. Does yo it? yo he does his thing you ever heard about him like yo like i like i watched a documentary about him a couple of years ago like I'm not an artist, but if I was an artist, mm. that seems like it's it. Like the man has the factory selling the teas, the mm. man has the the rent of the houses, the man's giving yeah. free cheap rent. Yeah. I'm like, I feel like that's a nice little business model to follow. Like yeah. you know, yeah, if you're yeah, able yeah. to do that, like mm. that's a big huge impact. Time. Yeah, facts. providing jobs, providing housing, providing food, like it's big. Like, Tech Nine did that. Yeah. Um look at La Russell. In uh, San Fran, but you guys know whole wrestling. Thing, though. As a black man, and I have to say this, sorry mm. to cut you off. As a black man, we need to stop promoting the fact that we're making these moves. Every other culture in the world just comes up. Chinatown just gets bigger and bigger for no reason. Brampton, first a little bit of Indians, now it's a lot of bit of Indians. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They're not on Instagram saying, yo, nigga, I bought four blocks up, nigga, and I'm out here helping ah, the community yo. and doing my thing and rah, rah, rah. Like, stop the fucking noise. Um, just make the moves mm -hmm. so you don't get locked up, shot, or fucking go missing. All right, right. you know how that one, real shit, that one real part. Shit, La the last part, I'll sum it up together, but I feel like with us, like, there's a lot more deep and personal things that go into this, like very deep. This is a very deep subject we can get into. Like, mm. I feel like it's more so like there's a lot more for these other cultures. There's way more like laws, bylaws and things that allow that. You're talking about the Pillar region. I don't know if y'all know this, but in the yeah. Pillar region, like the, man, like the thing has to be a certain percentage Indian. But that happens for a reason. But no, we, we, were, we were here before them. Why didn't you give it to us? Because we're not getting into politicians' pockets. No, we're making noise about stuff and trying to get mad. We just have to, to. Yo, you have to realize Indian people, they're smart. Like, oh, they'll definitely. live like seven families in one house. Yeah. And they'll build that up and build that up. It's a different culture until everybody yeah, has a house. Different so different 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 they're different very, culture. they're very like well aware of themselves culture. Like they come in and not, they're not trying to be nobody but what it takes to get there. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I think that's the main thing that shows that and they're not mm -hmm. talking about it online. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying? None of the movies I mean, are talked about. But so outside just, of culture and race and all that right. stuff too, I feel like it's just, yeah, it's just good to, you know, make your moves in silence and just, yeah. you know, be there for your people. And, I'm telling you. That's, that's all you it. can do though. That's the goal. You know, shout out to Studio 145. That's what we out there doing. You know, because, yeah, mm -hmm. you know, big up to what's his name? Rilo? Rallo? Rallo, man. Rallo got locked up. Nipsey got shot. Like, it's just beer mads that are doing, like, positive shit. Like, why are they the ones that are getting targeted all Because we're supposed to They want us to promote a certain type of lifestyle, fam. That's what you guys need. To That's a narrative mean. from the top, for right. sure. Like, that Definitely. narrative is something yeah. that they want us to promote. Negativity. Like, yeah, straight negativity. Yeah. From the man of our doing something That's positive. What they wake up and say, yo, the man doing something good? No, slap this guy out right now. Right now. Wake yeah. up. Get this guy out right now. <laughs> Yeah. You want crazy. people to eat? No. Kill him. Malcolm X, we can go on for the list as long, yeah, yeah. dog. Facts. Like the man even, said, yo, even, like, even uh Nixon. Yeah. yeah. You know, like the the whole Watergate thing, he actually wasn't the one that called in um, the, the guys to break into the Democratic building. He found out about it after. But where Nixon fucked up is that he his instinct was to cover it up yeah. versus just to respond about it and be like, hey, I didn't even know. But yeah. like, yeah, he like thought the, he was trying to act like a general instead of like just admitting it. Yeah, he was trying to end the Cold War, though, and yeah. they didn't want that to happen. Like he was trying to have good. Uh, he wanted universal health care in, in the States. They had to shut uh, that down. He was trying to uh, bridge the gap, like better relationship with Russia, with China. At that time, like they were like, no, 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 no. It's crazy. Same what thing comes JFK, out. too, bro. Like, Yo, it's crazy what comes <laughs> out in history. Top, top, yeah. top, top dogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're making but those Back then, those top dogs was the Italian mafia. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, but who came it? out in the Hoffa movie for sure? Yeah, yeah for sure. The, the yeah. mafia, but it's also it's always the, like the shadow yeah, government yeah, shit yeah, too. Yeah, it's yeah, always yeah, yeah, yeah. the shadow yeah. government. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, a bunch of guys with so much fucking money. They money press a button and make your fucking life disappear. Yeah, and a lot of them have to deal with certain mafias from certain countries. You get what I'm saying? Hundred percent. You know, I hope I, you know, may I live to see him. <laughs> you know, that's what it really is. Dog. Everything's tied. Vincenzo's outside. Am I going to not do it? Yo, so nah, follow it. <laughs> Vincenzo's outside one time. So we want to play, we want to play a game, yo. We want to play a game. So it's called Name That Drug, okay? <laughs> and we're going to um, name a drug and we need you to tell us what drug, what the drug did to you, yeah. what you feel the advantages and disadvantages of that drug was. Okay. Okay. And what have you seen it do to other people? And what did you take, what did you take, um, what did you get off of the drug? Right. You know, when did you get off of the drug? How mm -hmm. did you get off of the drug? And what did you like take off of that drug, that experience? Right. right. Okay. Let's Ready do it. First one. <laughs> first one. Is uh, good old MDMA. MDMA, aka the uh, boss. Yeah, I started taking that like I think it was grade ten, grade ten, oh, grade geez. eleven. Um, regularly, like I probably did Molly like forty, fifty times. I was Clubs. selling it. Uh, you know, MDAs on that on there too. Allegedly, 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, allegedly, allegedly. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't know. It, like at first, like, it was a great time. I've had a lot of good times on that. Every time it was cut, for sure. So sometimes it would, you could tell it was cut with uppers, and there were some times it was dark, and I could tell it was cut with downers because I'd be like nodding out, which should not be happening on uh, MDMA. <laughs> but, yeah, man. I don't know. Like I, I had a great time on that. Is that like I can honestly that feeling though? Um, and I feel like this is what drugs do. It's like. Whatever feeling you're looking for with a chemical, it's already within you. It's just how am I tap into that? So I right. can tap into that feeling. For me, like uh, that emotion's like euphoria. Right. So when I'm like in bliss, I'm serene. I'm with my friends doing yeah. shit like this, where yeah. you know we're we're talking about music and stuff that we care about, right. bro. Like that's just as good that's of a feeling. Right. Laughter okay. too. You know what I mean? Like laughter. That, yeah, laughter. So what are the advantages and disadvantages of MD Molly? Uh, very few advantages to be honest. I mean, like <laughs> you know, like for me at least like uh like i had a great time or whatever but i can have a great time anytime so uh the dis dis what was one of the disadvantages like oh you man like up, you're yeah well the, well, the, 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 the withdrawal is just like it's terrible like you get like crazy depressed i'm already like i'm bipolar so like i'm already gonna have like i'm bipolar too so i get more lows i don't really get manic um so I'm already predisposed to that. So when if I have like a depressant yeah. or like you you crash, it sucks and like right. you're really really depressed, uh, depressed, really unclear. Right. And then also too, it's just like yeah, I like uh, all like Molly was always cut. So and it's I'm sure to this day it's still very very Super cut. So nice. like when you're when you're withdrawing or whatever, you're you're coming down and stuff like that. You you don't know what you're shaking out of your system. <laughs> I had no idea, bro. So it's just like yeah. it's just Russian roulette. So what have you seen it do to other people? Um, similar things. I mean, I know some people that like ruin their lives on Molly, bro. Just being on Molly for like two, three months. Off Molly, dog. One hundred percent. I mean, really? uh, wow. yeah, I, I could. Wow. Yeah, no, like, and honestly, like the thing, like, thank God, like when I got into most stuff, like I was young and I was broke. So I didn't have like the kind of right. capabilities to really, really be spending. But if you're in a great position, you've got a lot of money, you've got influence, you've got a bunch of people telling you, oh, you're doing good, blah, 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 whatever. Maybe you're a celebrity. Right, you've right. got some kind of platform. <laughs> I could see how like people could literally be on that stuff for like, yeah, I mean, like I, I get addicted to anything. That's why I'm sober, right? True, true, true. Anything I touch, like I'm off to the races. So yeah, that's kind of what I my take. I don't know if I'm saying this properly. Nasa's path. Uh, <laughs> uh, what is this? Explain yeah, to sucks, bro. Like it's a uh, it's a downer. So it's kind of like Xanax, and like okay. Xanax was like my well, like probably my favorite drug. Um, that was like my real. So in terms, of, if we're looking at the negatives, yeah. clonazepam like serious depression, uh, very addictive, takes it's away heroin, the strength. No? No, no, it's a benzo. So oh. it's not an opiate. A but benzo. Like, yeah, it's a benzo. So oh, like shit. a benzo is like an anti-anxiety chemical. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, like yeah, yeah. It, for me, like I, I had an experience of like what some people talk about their first time taking Oxy where like I just felt like invincible, like totally comfortable. But the right. problem with the benzos too is that like you just, for me at least, I just stopped caring about everything. So like you could come up to me and be like, bro, like your dog died. I'd be like, 
okay and you're like yo someone oh, wants to marry you shit. okay like you're it's like the same robot. reaction bro like yeah like robot. literally a robot like Jeez. so a lot a lot of negatives the only plus i'd say was like yeah i'd like to, i had some had some fun with the benzos for sure felt felt good or whatever <laughs> but like all negatives like i basically was just in a black what are some of the fun times on the benzos do you remember any or is it just... uh most of it's blackouts bro but just like yeah, <laughs> like, just, most of it's blackouts. yeah i'm not gonna lie like uh allegedly drove a, a lot on that stuff too not good and wow. uh skateboarding like was just i don't know everything was just like a bit more chill and fun as someone yeah. that's like pretty like type a and and up like high strung very prone to stress like it was nice to not not be stressed but i can definitely get there with like meditation and just True. slowing down you know so not yeah. necessary <laughs> what have you seen it do to other people benzos yeah oh, even worse like way way worse than the molly bro like i was so lucky every time i came off benzos thank god i never had like seizures but like i'd be every time oh, i've, I've seizures might as well just hear your on the yeah, it for well, real. I was like, lucky, bro, because like I never detox properly. Like when you come off of drugs and you come off of alcohol, like your body can shut down. So like, um, you know, like I would just go through like incredible, like, like really like messed up episodes with my mood swinging like crazy. Right. When I'd be at like rehab or something, and like kind of losing my mind a little bit, they'd maybe think about like putting me in like a psych ward again or something um so not the best <laughs> wow. but uh yeah dude like it's just it's just a bad streak man like some people kill themselves on benzos other people yeah. just you know like the, the last time i was taking benzos and mixing it with other things like you know that shit was uh laced with fentanyl so i was just oh, lucky like i had the fuck i was just lucky that? i didn't die you know what i mean like that's that's the biggest thing is like whatever you're taking is like unless you're prescribed you don't know what you're taking and even if you're prescribed it depends like on the person for me i have no control so like i'm gonna overdo it whereas someone else <laughs> right like and i know that but that's the scary thing too about benzos is that even people that do not have substance uh problems it actually creates uh the physical withdrawal in you like very very quickly wow so you could like like let's say you know uh some person a was taking it a thousand percent never took over following the exact instructions right. doing all the things responsible that's let's crazy. say maybe one day they just forgot to bring it because they're living life whatever they're busy yeah Bro, they could literally have a seizure that day. Ah, that's and that's crazy. what people don't realize about Benzo. So, like, yeah, very, very, very dangerous. Very dangerous. Wow. You could drive the too. Benzo, but don't do the Benzo. real. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, bro. Jaundice, too. That's a big one. Wow. And liver failure. Yeah, your kidneys will shut down. That's you, take yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you might just be chilling around, pissing yourself on a bus what or something. What the fuck? That's yeah, bro. Crazy. I know enough people. Yeah. Trust me, bro. That Thank God crazy. I didn't get to that point. But, yeah. Okay. So, um, how about shrooms? I don't really stick to the shrooms, dog. Like, shrooms is just like a regular uh, thing, no? Not, bro, I don't know, man. I, I would go, like, when I would take shrooms, I'd go, like, two, three days kind of thing. <laughs> and it just, like, hurts your skull. Because, like, you're not supposed, like, shrooms are not for that. You're no. supposed to chill, have a spiritual experience. Yeah. I did have a couple, like, very positive <laughs> spiritual experiences. I've definitely had more positive spiritual experiences in sobriety. Um, in, like, lots of different capacities. Mm -hmm. um, so, like... But yeah, I think for the right person, like if you don't have a drug problem, it, shrooms can actually be very positive. I'm not saying do shrooms. I'm just saying, you know, know thyself kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, I took them a lot, man. Uh, probably like 40 something times in different quantities. I'd usually take like a pretty decent dose, like 3.5 to up to five. And I didn't have that many bad trips, but like the bad trips I did have, like 3.5 really what, grams? Yeah, yeah. No, it's Jeez. a half quarter. Well. No, it's not that. That's, that's, like, that's like pretty reg. Um, yeah. pretty reg pretty regular yeah but for three days but straight, for like nice. yeah if you're doing it like that like and and one time those shrooms was like laced with sid so that was a little crazy oh, shit. Um, that was first time i ever though. first time i ever took shrooms like yeah i was uh <laughs> at like a family dinner um and i couldn't i you know like my parents obviously <laughs> my parents what? didn't know that i was like whatever i was like tweaking again but this happened a lot <laughs> and uh they were just like hey want to go like get uh you know some lebanese food or something and i was like well uh, no but like i guess we'll see whatever and i went there and like yeah i experienced synesthesia like i was seeing the music all around the lady had like medusa hair and stuff like that oh they're like looking God. at me and like you know i'm just this having problems that humans don't like i just like can't eat my no. food and shit like can't use a fork and knife i'm like not not eating chicken and stuff like that they're like yo what's up with this guy so did that get you like attracted to acid did you do acid after that i, I did a decent amount of acid yeah so what was yeah. that 
is like, like acid was uh yeah acid was fun people, man people like yeah. what is how uh, it's shoes, pretty crazy shoes, how, no, no, bro, no, I, I, acid here I'll tell you like hold on hold on yo you're moving too fast hold on you were with ear nukes and you couldn't eat the chicken so yeah yeah I'm thinking about if I can't go like this with a drumstick my dude should have came with a backhand so like wake up well it was a fork and knife situation so I I tried to just cover it and just be like oh maybe I'm just not feeling good or like or whatever I they didn't somehow pick up on it and I went skateboarding and stuff <laughs> after it was, uh, but I was I was I was skating down the street and I was uh you get the giggles on shrooms and when you're like when you're tweaking like I was just laughing for no reason <laughs> So I'm just like going down the street and just, just like laughing. I'm just laughing. Like, what like, am I like a maniac like? just like skateboarding down the street. So I'm sure people were now. watching being like, yo, is this guy good or whatever? Yeah, I've had some really funny to make that, make that a short film. Yeah. That would that would be uh that would be a good little uh, good little movie right there, bro. Yeah, you should make a short short film about that one. One, one time on Sid, I uh, I was chilling in my room. I was trying to fall asleep, and I had to like this was like grade twelve. I had to show up. You want to take naps on acid, fam? Yeah, man, you just might like see the devil, <laughs> yeah. I, I took a decent amount and um, I was six. chilling. No, that, that was that was a, that was that was two, two tabs. Um, okay. But um, I was chilling in my room and I was watching like dinosaurs, like like going against like Action Bronson and Chance the Rapper and like all <laughs> kinds of crazy Chance, shit. I was seeing like yourself. the pyramids and like pterodactyls and shit, all kinds of crazy stuff. And I'm like trying to fall asleep because like I have to go to school the next day or whatever. So. <laughs> Yeah, man, it was like I don't know, like I, I I went down the street and I like saw another bar that wasn't a bar, and I was like trying to go into like the, the, the dream bar and shit. Like, yeah, man, I, ass is a crazy one. I had some good trips, some bad trips, but yeah. What's the disadvantage? Too? The disadvantage? I mean, it's twelve hours, so if you get in a bad headspace, you're fucked. Same thing with shrooms. Shrooms is like eight hours, right? So it's like you know, if you're in a, a bad headspace. Um, Acid too, I mean, like, yeah, depending on, like, kind of what you're predisposed to, shrooms as well, like, you could just go crazy if you're oh, predisposed shit. to, like, schizophrenia or something like that. Like, yeah, some people yeah, don't yeah. come out of trips. I actually, oh, I had a drug counselor, and when I was younger, I used to think he was just, like, <laughs> trying to, like, oh, hey, don't do drugs and just lying to me and stuff. But, like, no, he really knew a guy that was, like, about to go into med school. He took a couple tabs, and, like, he just never came out of his trip. He's been homeless his whole life. So. Brain's too oh, smart. Yeah. yeah. Some, some people just, you know, like, it's... It's yeah, it's not, yeah, not necessarily a good call. That's the most euphoric experience ever, and never want to come back. Man. Maybe, hopefully, hopefully it was a good experience because he's there. A fucking, what's he's there, name? right? The Marvel crazy. character does that. Is the name Thor? Thor? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The hammer. <laughs> <laughs> Man, on his brain. A different world. Yeah, yeah no, Viking no. teleportation. <laughs> Yeah, 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 I don't know all kinds of crazy stuff, but That's yeah, man. Crazy, what the fuck, y'all? Yeah, yeah. All right, so Adderall. Adderall. I only did Adderall once, oh, um, okay. but it was kind of it was similar. Like I did a decent amount of Ritalin, and uh, it was funny. My buddies okay. in high school, we would try to like level out, so I'd smoke a bit too much weed, and I'm like, okay, I'll just take the Ritalin to balance out in class. So I just like go and rail a tab of Ritalin or something, <laughs> and then uh, <laughs> you know what, I mean? what is a rail, bud? <laughs> Just What's like, a real bud? You know, we just know snort. Real is. Yeah, we, yeah, everybody knows what a real is. Real. Yeah. So with Adderall, like I, I never reeled Adderall or whatever, but it's like it's speed, right? So uh, like, yeah, I just kind of, <laughs> I was just chilling with my buddy. I think yeah. I, I gave him a Xanax. He gave me an Adderall. So we had just total opposite experiences. Yeah. <laughs> he was very chilling and I was just like sitting in the other room, just not talking to anybody, making beats for like seven hours or something. Like <laughs> So it's like, yeah, it's kind of like, uh, it's speed, basically. It's like methamphetamine. So I'd say pros and cons. Pros, like Adderall would probably help you clean up your place or like get ready for an exam. <laughs> Downside, it's just like super not sustainable. <laughs> <laughs> and definitely fucks up your brain. So. <laughs> not definitely the best. Fucks up, definitely yeah. fucks up your brain. Yeah, for sure, bro. <laughs> Why do you think um, pill culture took over, like... What was it about the like transition of drugs? Because drugs just used to be like weed, mm -hmm. blow, you know, shit you can gather from the ground. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, when do you think the shift in like who was it that you think kind of influenced the taking of the pills? That's a good question. I feel was like young yeah. music or was it? I know? feel like yeah, big pharma started the whole you know with the the opiate epidemic and everything like mm -hmm. the uh, the Purdue family. Mm -hmm. um, but also yeah, just like music and all that stuff too. Like now like. <laughs> 
you know, people grow up thinking it's cool to like sip lean and take Xanax and Adderall and all these different, like everyone wants to just be on like prescriptions and stuff like that. Whereas like when I was younger, that shit was not cool. So, uh, I think, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to blame it on any one person, but like, Future definitely contributed. <laughs> yeah. nah, you can't blame Future, bro. You yeah. can't blame Future. Future, future was had the man who had him drinking the lean. I oh, feel sure. like Future was the pill man. But man. I feel like man was talking Lost about lean for sure. Before, Xanax, like, he was perks. talking about Xanax. I mean, track. yeah, well, I guess yeah, like if you man. want like the origin, it's like, yeah, you got like DJ Screw. And right, then and right, then you got right. the Wayne's and then you got the future. So there's yeah, been a different yeah. evolution there's of yeah. drugs. Yeah, I feel like it just Wayne slowly went the more script the syrup. Syrup. Yeah, yeah. Were, yeah, those yeah, guys yeah. were those guys those were syrup guys. guys. Got- mm-hmm. Every trapper locked on lean fat. Yeah, yeah. And then when Juicy J came, it just topped it off. Yeah, it's simple. Yeah, yeah. Double cup. All you need is your weed yeah. and lean. And, yeah. you're good. and you've seen it in every music video. And he was just out of nowhere. Yeah. Pills just started yeah. fucking. I think, you know what I mean? Like he was talking about Molly a lot. He was talking about Adderall a lot. Yeah, yeah. Juicy uh, J, right? Juicy yeah, J, yeah, 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 yeah. And like, yeah, I think that's kind of just it switched, and like then like pills just became like a cool, whatever. I don't know. I think it's Juicy J's fault. No, uh, I don't know if it's Juicy J's fault, but no, I definitely it's feel definitely like there the is a car- culture. The pharmaceutical company. <laughs> the pharmaceutical. They're paying. The, they're paying the. <laughs> they're, they're a cartel, bro. The cartel, oh, shit. literally, hundred yeah. percent. Don't get sniped over here, fam. Like, don't get sniped. I mean, it's hey, it's on me saying like, bro, there's enough uh, documentaries on the Purdue's and the the Sackler family. And Allegedly, all this, you know what I mean. Allegedly. Not even yo, they they've been charged enough times. Allegedly, right? allegedly, allegedly. <laughs> you gotta keep going with allegedly. I don't want to allegedly. see you come. I, like I said, I don't, don't want Vincenzo coming to my dog. Yeah. I don't want yeah, Big Farmer yeah, yeah. knocking the door for you. <laughs> I just want to make sure you guys are going home safe. You know? Yeah, bro. Yo, but I want to ask you guys something. What do you guys think about the culture changing to a lot of people being into, like, being high constantly? Mm. I feel like, like you said, when we were younger, it was more so about a thing of trying, like, natural herbs and natural drugs. Now it's about pharmaceuticals, like you said. Yeah. But I feel the culture has shifted into being high all the time and, like, being at a point where you can't function. Really? Like, that's where I feel like it's at. I think mm. when we were younger, it's about your frost, you're in the club, you're popping popping bottles, you're having fun. Right. Now it's about, like... There's a lot more people leaning like, oh, yeah. outside. Leaning outside, they're leaning. You know, yeah, they're yeah, leaning yeah. over a fence or falling backwards and standing yeah. in the same position. Yeah, like it's not. You see, way more I mean, often, just, yeah, there's a lot of glamorization of like, yeah, like Oxy and Perks and Roxy's and all kinds of shit that just basically Roxy. just different versions of heroin. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> yeah, not the best. Like, I don't know. It's just. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, what is it a Roxy? Really to say? It's like Mother Pro- Kirk, a Roxy. I was like, hold up, Pro- Pro- probably your girl. What's Pro- going on here? Probably just like you know, don't take heroin, but it is what it is. You know, people yeah. are gonna people are gonna yeah. take what they're into. I I feel like it's interesting because yeah, you say that perspective, and I definitely see that a lot of people wanting to be high, and then on the flip side, a lot less people are taking uh, are interested in alcohol. Like drinking has actually gone down a lot. I feel like that people too. people are like maybe smoking like smoking is more accessible like um socially acceptable it feels like now at least for the younger generations than like alcohol was whereas before alcohol was like almost a rite of passage like there was something wrong with you if you didn't drink yeah, now yeah. it's a little bit different it's almost as if like they are they're capitalizing on mental health in a sense you know what i'm saying and it's just like maybe they're just doing more on mental health to just find more people to serve drugs to you know what I'm saying? with that i also feel like yo my conspiracy theory about mental health is that one day we're gonna wake up and they're gonna make a law that if you have one two three four mental health issues you yeah. can't work you can't function in society they're just gonna feed you pills just take the rights off you yeah they're just gonna put, put you on a form separate. put you on a form <laughs> one just be like all right bro yo you gotta you gotta take the neural link and yeah, go to uh you can't do anything you can't function you, you gotta go to the funny room <laughs> basically yeah, i feel like that's what it is why they like give me everybody else a label shit. for some shit man I don't know, bro. I don't know what the what the plans are, but I do think that, um, yeah, it's not about like. There's still a lot of stigmatization and like, yeah, I don't know why they're doing that and labeling and stuff like that. But right. I mean, every like everything's a spectrum, right? So it's like, I'm I, I have a couple of different like I have addiction issues, I have OCD, I got bipolar. This right. is a spectrum. Like I'm not right. I'm not the fucking face of bipolar. You know <laughs> what I mean? I'm not like or some bullshit. Every like, brain is complex. You yeah, know? Everybody's everyone's brain different. Is complex. Yeah, all the, yeah, we're all wired differently, and the chemical imbalances and mm-hmm. disbalance. So yo, I have to know yo, mm. where is Uncle Terry from? 
Where's Uncle Terry? <laughs> Yo, Uncle Uncle Terry comes out every now and then. So yeah, this is my uh, this is alter ego. I never met Uncle Terry. You so never like, met Uncle Terry. What does Uncle Terry think about the the newest, like the best song off of this new project? That's a good question. I'd say uh, Uncle Terry's a real. He's a little <laughs> in a hypomania. Now the thing that you don't understand about inside the norm is the Democrats. The Democrats are trying to interfere. With the album rollout. <laughs> the Democrats. The Democrats are interfering and hypomania just might save America. So you that's, don't that's what Uncle Terry thinks. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of what I'd say. That's what what he would say. That's crazy, fam. So on that note, like what is your best, you know, your favorite track off the album, you know? Um my album, right? Mixtape or album? It's album. album yeah. Mm -hmm. I love Big Shiny Tunes. I love Hypomania. Big Shiny Tunes is getting um, the dot. Love the love. Yeah, I love uh, Misery Cells. It's crazy. I don't, after I'm Dead. Honestly, I don't know. Like, I, I, I really structured it so, like, front to back. Like, I, I like it full piece. There's a lot of visuals. So, I don't know. I can't really. Yeah, it's hard to pick one. It's hard to pick one. So, I say just take it in, man. Just take it just in. Take it and in. you see what, what you like. You know, there's a lot of very different things. SOS is crazy too. That's an insane song DM produced Lofsky by Wood Oxa. Tell me your favorite song. From yeah, the album. DM. Tell DM me. DM Lofsky, add him to his Instagram. So, exactly. Lofsky, shout out your Instagrams and all that to the people. L O F S K Y. Follow me. Uh, yeah, Instagram, TikTok, all that stuff. Hit me up. Same name, all platforms, Spotify, all that. Yo, shout out the show one more time. May 23rd, where? May 23rd, Bar Cathedral. Doors at 9 30, 54 Esplanade. I'm going to be on stage right at 10 p.m., debuting the short film, and then we're going to get into the album. Let's go. Go. I'm sick. Still, I just, I didn't know I, I, I wasn't supposed to spill that. I didn't know. No, no, no. Yeah, I, I, I mean, wanted I wanted it like spoken about. Okay, okay. Bless, you know, for sure, hundred percent. Yo, so coming live. This is the team right here. We had to big up our nigga Lofsky yeah, today. Shout out to this guy. He's coming on ways. He's coming to a lot of things. He can tell you the do's and don'ts of drugs. That's why kids need OGs nowadays. You know what I'm saying? So I love to see what you're doing with um Vampire's Prom. So maybe you could big up Vampire's Prom and just tell us what it's all about. Yeah, Vampire's Prom is founded by myself and Trey Gold. And uh, basically what we do, uh, we're an underground showcase. And uh, yeah, we put on artists. We work with our friends. And we're all about community. So we, uh, yeah, we throw events. We got a lot of other plays coming soon. Uh, you might see all kinds of different content. I don't want to get too into it yet. But yeah, Vampire's Pro, we've done, uh, we've done news. We've done all kinds of different things. So it's, it's really like a media company. Right. We're not just shows. And uh, it's sort of the parent company of a lot of other things that we're going to you're going to see coming out soon. There might be a crazy Sweet. festival that you're going to see before this comes out. So I can probably talk about it. Cyberland Fest. Right. So I can't say a little bit too much about that. They, okay. might, they might be involved, but uh, be on the lookout. OK, big All up, right. big up, big up. Big up, right, Lofsky. Lofsky, Ball Club of Diaries, OG Mac G, Mr. Let's. You know? Appreciate Let's you guys. Party. We out here. Yeah, yeah you know. Big, big up, up yourself. yourself. And we're out.